Hi, this is James from the Humble Technical Support Team, and this is a tutorial to show you how to configure customer satisfaction surveys. So I'm using the 750 client and the ITSM 3414 version. Um, this will apply to any application and platform version. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually to create a new survey. I'm going to show you how to uh, preview what you've created and also how to use surveys against calls and how to view who has responded in like a numerical format and how to report on uh, these findings and the actual information given. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the administration menu and manage customer surveys. Uh, you'll see that I've got none set up at the moment. Uh, I'm going to click on add new. So let's give it a name. Uh, testing survey. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that the actual server name is actually inserted there. For me it's only on localhost so I'm just going to type in localhost. And you can type in whatever you like in the actual body here. So the survey is actually going to be sent out via email. Um, so you can select the mailbox that it's coming from, the subject. Um, just make sure that the URL parameter is actually still in there. Otherwise, um, there'll be no link to actually for them to go to to uh, actually submit the survey. So um, from the questions now, I'm going to add in a few questions. Uh, this is very similar to the uh, operator script uh, type setup. So if you don't know how to do this side of things, or if you want to know more information about this side of things, you might want to view that particular tutorial around operator scripts. But it's very simple. There's just uh, information type entry in terms of single line, multi line, You've got options for like a drop down list, um, any kind of tabular sort of list, and some announcements. So I'm just going to add in a very simple one in terms of a single line uh, input, um, maybe something like um, overall satisfaction. Very simple, it's only going to be a one question, but obviously you can go and do as many of these as you like. Um, so you'll see now that we have this created. Um, obviously we've not sent it out to anyone, so I know responses. Obviously you can't calculate a rate if uh, no one's actually got it yet. Um, you can preview the actual list of questions from here. This is what it's going to uh, appear like. So let's close that and cancel it from there. What I'm going to do is now is just go into logger test call and I'm also going to show you um, how it appears when it sends to the customer. So I'm just going to log that. Then I'm just going to instantly resolve it. So you don't need to tick the actual box here to say email customer at this stage. Um, I'm going to tick the box here to say send customer survey. I'm going to select the survey. So I'm going to click on resolve call you'll see that it doesn't actually pop up to say you know would you like to send this survey or this is a survey and then you have to click on send like you do for normal emails it automatically sends it it picks out the customer that you've logged the call against and sends it so if we go into email I haven't fully configured uh, my email services that's why it appears in the deleted items but you can see here that um, it's appeared with my email that we've configured in the survey and it's sent to my contact. So I'm going to click on the link here and here it is. Here's my simple survey. Um, you can make it a bit more doody than this. Um, <laughs> you might want to vi visit the PHP file if you want to include your own uh, information around it. Um, maybe logo etc. But um, here's just a simple, a simple version. So let's just enter it in as if you were the end customer. I'm just going to click on next. It's going to say, thank you very much, all questions answered, thank you for your time. So let's close it down. Customer's now been responded to. Um, so now if we go to the administration and manage customer surveys, you'll see that now one has been sent out, one's been responded, and it's going to tell you, obviously, your response rate just based on them. So that's all very handy. Um, so what if you have several hundred responses and several hundred invitation, etc.? Um, and you want to see a bit more information as to maybe uh, around who's responded. So you can click on view report 
This will show you a list of uh, people who actually responded to them, the call reference number that they relate to, and the general feedback. Um, this will give you something else in terms of uh, who it is and call reference. Graphical will only give you information if you've got particular questions in that operator script that we set up, same as textual. But you can get just a comment report based on who it was and the comment. So this is quite handy uh, to have uh, in terms of the reporting side of things. Um, just a simple PHP report around that. And that's it. So that's it all completed. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But um, in terms of the actual um, survey module, you have to bear in mind that the surveys are part of your license. So you need to make sure that uh, surveys is indeed included. Uh, you can check this from your license itself. Um, you'll have within here uh, particular modules, uh, one box here which is satisfaction surveys. You can see mine's ticked within my license. Um, if yours is not ticked, you might want to contact your account manager just to ensure uh, that that is. There may be some form of um, uh, cost around that, but um, you might want to contact your account manager anyway. If you have any queries around the setup or uh, around the logging of calls around it or the reporting against it, please let us know.